Hey guys, what's up Aries? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways, so this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with, so flip-flop it how you need to. Also, keep in mind, um, this is a general reading, so take what's yours Oy. and throw the rest away. Alright, Aries. You have a mixture of readings. Um, a mixture of messages coming across. So some are like happy and lovely, and then the other one you're just and then it just like stops. It was you cutting someone off or something off and it went to healing. Alright, so let's see what the immediate future is for you guys. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Alright, Aries. Maybe a future for Aries, please. Alright, guys, let's get it. Someone thinks about you a lot, misses you a lot. This is an ex that, um, or someone, it could be a friend, someone that lied to you betrayed you in some kind of way. I don't know if that has anything to do with the me or the reading, but um three cards please. There's that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, see somebody is really missing you. This could be you missing someone because we have your energy smack dab in the middle here. Some of you guys could really just be focused on your job, on your money, on perfecting something right now, like a skill or something. Staying up late, working on it, studying a lot. All right, show me, show me this five of cups for Aries. And numbers are breaking down to a four, which is about foundations um, and stability. So show me this five of cups for Aries, please, for the immediate future. The magician. All right, so something lets you down or someone has some regret, something like that, but definitely coming back to manifest something or wanting to, trying to. The King of Cups could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is someone who has, um, you know, there's a lot of feelings there. The King of Cups is all about emotion. So even if it's not a water sign, this person or it could be you, energies can be reversed, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody who held your heart here. Um, this person's all in their feelings. They're all in their, uh, they don't know what to do. Someone's feelings are very hurt. Show me this magician though, what are they trying to manifest? Thank you. Yeah, reconciliation. They want to come in out of the cold. For some of you guys, also, um, for work situations, you could have been feeling some poverty, some letdown right now, and you're trying to change that. If that's the case, um, it feels like that's about to change. Ace of Cups at the bottom. So this person is definitely, like, they betrayed you, but they want, they want to try to make it right. They want to come back. They want to talk to you. They want to hang out. Show me this Emperor for Aries. I already have two fives there, so something's building up. Yeah, your heart broke. Um, it could have been a player or like a third party situation. Tell me more. This person could be at a distance. Yeah, it's it's like whether this is you or them, it's because your energy is here. So you can technically right now make it. It feels like the choice is yours. Whether it's work or love, like things have been stuck and it's because of pain, it's because of heartache, like it's preventing this from moving forward, whether it's work or love. So it's like put you in a stuck position 
you may contemplate something here, yeah, Leo energy, but you're definitely holding back on something right now, or this person is, but it feels like it's you. It feels like actually both of you are. Wanting things to move forward though, but um, it's, it's being held back. And it's because of pain. Just because we have the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. These are lonely, sad, heartbreak, let down, regret, that type of thing. Like it's, it's a lot of pain behind this. So somebody does want something to happen. They want to move forward. But it's like, here's your energy. It's, it's something that's holding it up um, to that heartbreak. Show me this Eight of Pentacles. You may be trying to see things from all perspectives and gain that clarity, but it looks like you're putting on a pretty, like a pretty confident, brave face. Show me this Eight of Pentacles for Aries, please. The King of Wands. So this could be your energy, but the King of Wands with the Emperor, it's like in the Magician here. That's kind of a pretty much go-getter. So it's kind of coming out of this energy. You could be really focused on your work, especially like if you're an entrepreneur or something like that. Talking about this King of Wands. It's like kind of going, um, one way to look at it in terms of things not moving, this King of Cups is not terribly like ambitious like as in, in the sense especially in this state he may not get up he doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve all the time and he may not just get up and go so y'all he's kind of just in there chilling leg up whereas the outcome this king of wands he's like ready to go he's sitting up like what's that so it's kind of a change in the energy so if you've been feeling down in the dumps or sad or depressed lately um i think that's gonna change around but it's also about this person. Show me this King of Wands. You could be dealing with another fire sign. It could be your energy. But I feel like this is all about the masculine energy. So something that you're working on, if it's work-related, there's going to be a lot of success around it. Especially if there has been some type of hold-up, some type of snag. You could be seen in the public eye or like getting some type of recognition for something at work here. Um, Love-wise... This person is like um, big boying up and putting, he, he's taking charge now. He's coming for his victory. As a relationship, this person probably has some ego with them, but they're coming in to work on some type of success with you. Yeah, communication. So I want to tell you two ways, okay? If this is a love situation for you, this person knows they fucked up. They want to make it right. Um, they know they broke your heart. They want to hang out. They want to, like, reconnect. But things have kind of been stalled. I don't know if neither one of you are moving, but this person misses the hell out of you. So it's like um, the energy kind of changes in a sense of getting up and actually doing something. They're doing that now. They're coming forward. They're communicating. Or this could be you. But um, there's, like, a cocky swag about this person. Um... Which is, an, I guess, a nice change of pace from the energy it's been in. I don't know, however you look at it. If this is work-related, okay, if you've been feeling down, if work hasn't been going very well, if you've been trying to make shit happen, um, but it's not, like if you've been feeling poverty or something, kind of feeling stuck at a snag right now, I don't know what you do. Don't count on your good looks to get you through it. Because things are trying to move forward. Maybe you need to look at things from a different perspective, from a different angle, um, and not focus on, like, the downside of it. Focus on the positive side of it. Because if this is work-related, there's some type of communication or just tip, just things moving forward in general. You're coming out successful on top, like, especially if you're an entrepreneur or something. Keep studying, keep working, because there's some type of victory here for you in the immediate future. It's all about also, um, you know, getting up and taking that initiative if it's work related. Because the King of Cups compared to the King of Wands, it just makes me feel like, especially in a creator position, a trying to manifest position, um, this King of Wands, especially with the Emperor, man, the Emperor can't, not your energy, can manifest anything you want. So it's just like, um, you know, maybe look at things from a different angle, try things a different way. 
and put a little bit more oomph because there's success coming for you. All right, Aries, hope this helps. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.